But what is the transformer model? And how does it relate to the series of models that came after it? In the next few slides, we're going to take a look at high-level architectural diagrams for the transformer. The purpose of these slides is not to explain the details of the transformer architecture, but rather to show how the original transformer model can be decomposed into models we are more familiar with today. The transformer model is composed of multiple layers of the encoding and decoding blocks you see here. Models that adopt the original architecture of the transformer are called encoder-decoder models. One such well-known example is T5, short for the text-to-text -text transfer transformer. However, the first transformer-based models to gain broad adoption used only the encoder block of the transformer. Here, chopping off the decoder block, but taking the linear and softmax layers from the decoder block, we now have the basic architecture for the BERT model, short for bidirectional encoder representation from transformers. During encoder-only model pre-training, only the masked words, generally about 15% of the data set, are used for prediction. For example, the two masked out words in this input sentence on the bottom left. This has led to the criticism that training on only about 15%, or in this example, two out of the eight words, is an inefficient use of the training data set. However, these pre-trained models can be subsequently fine-tuned on a broad range of tasks, such as the sentiment classification in this example movie review and other discriminative tasks, thus enabling very efficient reuse of the pre-trained model. Returning to the full transformer model, we introduce decoder-only models by now chopping off the transformer's encoder block to achieve an architecture similar to that used to train GPT and other decoder-only models. Decoder-only models use an autoregressive language modeling objective during pre-training that, unlike BERT, rules out bidirectional attention. Instead, the model can only attend to the tokens that have already been predicted, with all the later tokens in the sequence masked for later prediction. In this example, for the prediction of the token all, the LLM could attend to only the preceding words and not the subsequent ones. Also, unlike encoder-only models, Decoder-only models can run prediction on 100% of the tokens of the pre-training dataset, generating each next token while attending to all the prior tokens and earning these models the distinction of being called generative models.